What's good, Fight Fans? It's your boy Timmy's the best, and I'm back with another episode of Punch Drunk 412. Hit that like, hit the comment, subscribe, hit that bell button. Let's get into it. Bud Crawford, Terrence Bud Crawford, at it again. Three to three, to three division superstar, superstar champion boxer, and current WBO welterweight champion. Terrence Bud Crawford stands five foot eight with a seventy foot four inch arm reach. Thirty four years old with a record of thirty two wins, zero knockouts, and zero draws. Twenty nine KOs is at it again. Taunting Errol Spence, left and right, let's get it, I'm out in that ocean, taunting that big fish, I'm looking for you, a lot of fish in the sea, but I want that fish named Errol, nigga you been ducking, I ain't no promoter stopping us, ain't no nothing stopping us, let's get this money baby, let's do it, and then all of a sudden you know what this thing is going to come down to, money, 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 that's what it's about, that's why this fight's probably never going to happen, because these two ain't never going to agree on that one thing, money. Nigga, that's what it's all about. You know, Earl is the bigger pay-per-view draw. So he feels he should get the bigger chunk of the purse. Terrence Crawford is like, dude, if I retire right now, I'd be a fucking Hall of Famer. Like, you know what I mean? So I should get the lion's share. You ain't done half the things in the sport of boxing that I've done. I'm considered the number one pound for pound. Or you're considered top three pound for pound. But many consider me, Terrence Bud Crawford, the best. But in the end... It's all about who could put the butts in the seats, and it's looking more and more like Errol's probably the one whose name is going to do that. But this is the biggest fight that can be made in boxing right now. Now, with that being said, let's not forget the almighty, one of the greatest, my favorite boxer of all time, Hall of Famer Roy Jones Jr., said that Terrence Crawford is too famous and too popular to even need a promoter. He's big enough to promote himself. And I totally agree. Totally. You're one of the biggest names in boxing. You're the best fighter in the world. And you don't really need nobody to promote you. Bob Aaron was kind of doing you dirty, man. So it's better that you out here getting this money on your own. You don't need no promoter behind you to get this bag, baby. So let's do it. Let's make this fight happen. Take take 55. You know what I mean? 45 split or something like that, bro. But we need to make this fight happen, bud. Let's do it, baby. Everybody want to see it. Everybody want to see you and Errol go at it. You know what I mean? Hands down. Let's get it done. Now on to Errol the Truth Spence, who is the current WBC and IBF Unified Champion. Coming in at 5 foot 10, 31 years old, 27 wins, 0 losses, 0 ties, 21 KOs with a 72 inch arm reach. Now Errol, how I feel about you bro, you keep making everything about money. I understand, nigga, you a boxer, but, bro, you are the highest paid boxer in the welterweight division, bro. You don't got to take the, you know, get the big chunk of every change, bro. You could take a little less or you could you can bend a little bit, bro. You could give, you know what I mean, 60-40, man, come on, man, 60-40 is not going to cut it, you know what I mean? You could do 55-45, you know what I mean, something around them ends, or fuck it, 50-50, and, you know, he don't get none of the pay-per-view money, but do it where y'all split the purse evenly, bro. I, we do understand that you're the bigger draw. You are the bigger draw, but you gotta be able to bend, in, you know what I mean, in some way. Now that, that can't, that might not be you. That could be Al Heyman in the background controlling these things, because we know like a motherfucker that Al Heyman ain't gonna let, you know what I mean, you who got the way bigger pay-per-view draw, you know what I mean, take less money or even share the money. I already know that. So we don't have to see how this pans out, but from my perspective, bro, I think you're using that as an excuse because you know what's going to happen. Yeah, you're a little bit bigger. You know, you're a little, you're a tiny bit stronger, but Bud Crawford will outclass you hands down, in my opinion. Yes, you are probably the one boxer on the planet that do have a chance of beating Nick Bud, but I, I, don't, I don't see it happening, bro. I think that, that car crash, man, I think that took some time off your career, bro. Now, I ain't me trying to put no soul in your game, bro, but it's just the way it is. Then you detach that retina. Man, Bud gonna be tagging that eye. I don't know if you want them issues, homie. 
But anyway, man, stop making excuses about money. And, and you know what I mean? Get the, get the fight made, man. Get it made. There ain't nothing bigger. You're talking about you should you the big dog. You know, it's your division. He moved up to you. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck the excuses. I'm tired of the talk. Let's get this fight made and get y'all two in the ring so we can see who the better man is. Because I got Bud whooping your ass. And I'm trying to bet big money on that. So let's get it. That's all I got on this today. But it's it's Timmy's the best. This is Punch Drunk 412. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you enjoy fresh content like this, I'm out.